Good day everyone! This video is gonna be short. It's just an update on the light fastness test results of the Superior Watercolor set I reviewed a few months ago. Also, I apologize if this is very late because my laptop and my phone I use to shoot the videos are going through technical difficulties at the moment. Anyway, I cut up half of this swatch page and this half has been clipped onto a sunny west-facing window since last October. It's been 5 months and here are the results. Okay, so I did not foresee that the paper would also get bleached by the sun a little, which I think would account for the temperature shift in some of these colors. The left of each swatch is the side left in storage while the right one was the side exposed to the sun. Let's go through the colors one by one. White. Not much to say. The chalky residue on the black line is still there and the exposed side seems brighter because like I said, I think the paper got bleached by the sun. Skin color. This has faded quite a bit, especially the reddish tones. Lemon yellow has lightened the tiniest bit, but I'm not 100% sure if it has to do with the paper. Cadmium yellow U seems to have retained its value and U, so that's good. Orange has faded a little. Vermilion hasn't really changed or shifted. Alizarin crimson shows one of the biggest shifts in U. From a cool red, it turned a lot warmer, even if value-wise it doesn't seem to have faded. I wonder what pigment or pigments they use for this because the real alizarin crimson pigment, PR83, is also very fugitive and not light fast. Cerulean blue, not much change. Marine blue, seems even brighter actually. Possibly because of the paper getting bleached from cream to white. Prussian blue. Not much change in value. Change in temperature might be because of paper change. Again. Mauve. Is that how you pronounce it? This is probably the most fugitive color in the palette, which was to be expected of a bright purple pink pigment. Anyway, don't use this stuff for anything that you want to last. Hooker's green, no visible change to me. Chrome green, some parts seem to look brighter like the marine blue earlier, but it seems to have faded a little bit, especially around this lower right area. Permanent green light, like the name says, the color didn't fade and budge, amazing. Now we have the earth colors, yellow ochre, no change, pale red, not much change except in temperature by the littlest bit, but the values did not change. Burnt umber, no change. And lastly, ivory black, not much change either. To conclude, alizarin crimson mauve and skin color are the three colors you definitely want to avoid because they're definitely not light fast chrome green and lemon yellow are a little questionable and might have faded a little bit but surprisingly for such an affordable palette most of the colors seem reasonably light fast i guess they'd be safe to use for like greeting cards postcards etc but i'm not so sure if i'd risk using them on like full paintings that are going to get displayed and get light exposure. Also, if you do end up saving money buying these, please invest on better more archival paper. Thanks for watching and I hope this was helpful. That's all for now. Bye!